doing your question. Oh, what a rogue in heaven's slave am I? Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit, that, that from her working all his visage wand, tears in his eyes, distractions in his aspect, a broken voice, and his whole function suiting with forms to his conceit, and all for nothing, for Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him, or he to Hecuba that he should weep for her? What would he do? Had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have? Crown the stage with tears, cleave the general ear with horrid speech, make mad the guilty, appall the free, confound the ignorant, and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears. And yet I, a dull and muddy metal rascal, peep like John a dreams, unpregnant of my cause, and can say nothing, no, not for a king, upon whose property and most dear life a damn defeat was made. Ew. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain? Throats my paid across, plucks off my beard, blows it in my face, tweaks me by the nose, gives me the lie of the throat as deep as to the lungs. Who does me this? I suppose I should take it, for it cannot be. But I am pigeon livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter. Ere this, I should have fatted all the region kites with this slave's awful. Bloody body villain, remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kinless villain! Oh, vengeance! <sighs> what an ass am I? This is the most brave that I, the son of a dear father murdered, prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell, must, like a whore, unpack my heart with words, and fall a-cursing, like a very drab, a scullion, by upon foe about my brain. <laughs> I have heard that guilty creatures sitting in a play have, by the very cunning of the scene, been struck so to the soul that, presently, they proclaim their malfunctions for murder though it have no tongue will speak with most miraculous organ. I'll let these players play something of the murder of my father before my uncle. I'll observe his looks. I'll tent him to the quick. If he do blench, I know my course. The spirit I have seen may be the devil, and the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape, yea, and perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he is very potent with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. I'll have the grounds more relative than this. The play's the thing, wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. Thank <laughs> you.